Atlantic City Casinos. We're right here in Atlantic City. Uh, their gross operating profits increased by nearly 20% the first six months of the year. The New Jersey DGE Division of Gaming Enforcement also showed that seven casinos reported a collective second quarter profit of almost $170 million compared with 145 from the year before. That's a 16% increase. So it seems like the casinos are doing well. What the data doesn't show is that internet gambling has sparked the surge. And my question to you, Guru, is doesn't Internet gambling help casino operators but hurt on-site employees and make people not want to travel to Atlantic City if they can gamble from their phone or from their home? To begin with, I, I I think this is still great news for the casino industry in Atlantic City, and and let's look at a few factors here to consider based upon the uh, financial information that you just sh- shared. So, since 2014, King, five casinos have closed, and the so obviously that's gonna that's gonna concentrate. The, the rest of the gambling revenue amongst those remaining casinos. But occupancy rates have increased year to year, and I think that's really important related to these employment numbers. The more visitors and guests that you have staying and visiting in Atlantic City, the better it's going to be because uh, for employment because you're going to have more services that are needed from by those guests, and it also is going to require more uh, workforce. So I think it's a good, a really actually great sign about the occupancy as far as revenues being up. But uh, it's not totally, I I don't, I don't think these numbers King are being totally driven by uh, online gambling. Uh, That's my opinion. Uh, I also think casino operators making more uh, profits isn't necessarily about just helping certain individuals. I think it's about shareholder value. So you're going to have a lot of people benefiting by the success of the casinos as far as those uh, shareholders. In the long run here, I think Atlantic City is going to have to rely less exclusively on gambling and more about how to draw people for other types of entertainment into the city. Otherwise, internet gambling could really devastate the city, uh, especially from an employment standpoint. So like everything else, I think the long-term success here or survival is going to be based upon the city's ability to change and adapt.